Mm -hmm. Nice. You're going to bend your knees and look at your hands. You can walk forward or float forward. Your call. Inhale, look forward. Uh huh. Exhale, fold in. You're going to squat down into Malasana, which is the yogic squat. Classically, your feet are together and the knees fall out to the side from there. If you're a little bit tighter, you may need to step the feet apart. That's allowed. Uh, and she's going to drop her chest in between. If you want to reach around and hold your heels like this, that's great. If you're tight like I am, some days that happens. Other days, not so much. Mostly what you want to feel is your chest arriving in between your thighs. Because we're going to turn this into our first potential arm balance. Remember, it doesn't matter if it takes flight. Not at all. So she's going to put her palms flat on the ground. Mm -hmm. She's going to look forward and she's going to climb her knees to that same part of the tricep that we've visited a few times in our flow. She's going to look really far forward so she knows where she is and come onto her toes and maybe that's enough. Maybe one foot comes off, maybe both feet come off and you float in the arm balance in its full capacity. You can also do this pose with your feet on a block to get the elevation uh, and keep them there or experiment with taking one foot off and then the other. Excellent. You can toss this back, you can walk it back, whatever you'd like to do. Mm -hmm. Nice work. You could also skip this vinyasa and stay at the front edge of your mat because we're going to take a second round of that. So she'll empty her lungs. Feel free to walk to the front edge of your mat or float your call. Mm -hmm. Inhale, look forward, exhale, fold in. So she's going to step up on the block and show you how that would be done on this second round if that sounded like an appealing way to go. She just puts her feet on the block. She squats down like she's been doing. Mm -hmm. The knees will fall out to the side. This is great training wheels and it doesn't have to go any further than this. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to take the full pose, up you go. Maybe there'll be a person there to pull your block away for you. Possibly not. Uh -huh. And then toss it back or step it back. Your call, we'll meet in down dog. Doesn't matter how you get there. Mm -hmm. Terrific. Very nice. She's gonna step her right foot in between her hands and come into a runner's lunge. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And she'll bring both hands to the inside of the right foot. Excellent. You're welcome to do this bit with your back knee down on your mat. So especially if you're getting a little tired out, uh, put the back knee down, that's fine. Uh, or not, so you can also take the knee off the ground. Now she's just gonna tuck her right shoulder underneath and hold on to the ankle with one hand or both hands. You could use your block under the left hand for some stability. Some of you guys can tuck your head behind your shin, go for it, that's not gonna be many of us. Take a few breaths here. It should get a little spicy in the hips, like you'll feel that you're opening things up there, which is handy for our next thought. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Now she's gonna put her left hand down and her right hand down. And she's gonna come back to that feeling of bakasana. She's gonna sweep the right leg around like she's gonna kick herself in the butt. Uh -huh. And then she's gonna see if she can maybe take the prep for Ekapada Kundinyasana, which technically would be a straight-legged pose, but probably you'll start there. She leans forward and she sees if she can take her back leg off of her mat. Uh -huh. You don't have to get here at all. You can be in that lunge, thinking about sweeping the heel towards your butt for a long time. She'll toss it back. You can step it back through a vinyasa or not, and we'll meet in our downward facing dog. Mm -hmm. Brilliant, she's gonna step the left foot forward and we'll come into a runner's lunge. Remind yourself that you can put your back knee down and do it that way if you'd prefer. Both hands will come to the inside. Mm -hmm. And then you're just gonna tuck the left shoulder underneath the left knee, reach around, potentially hold the ankle with one or both hands. Some of you people that are very bendy will put your uh, head behind the shin. You know, it can look many different ways. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to go any farther than where she is right now. You could just put your hands on the ground and kind of imagine what it would feel like to try to recreate half of a bakasana, which we've done in various forms today. Or she'll pick the foot up, sweep it around, uh -huh, as if to kick yourself in the butt. If you have the room to straighten the leg, you can straighten the leg and then she'll lean it forward uh -huh, and balance it, gorgeous. You can just be in your lunge watching Emily do it. That's what I'd be doing. Take a few breaths like this. Uh huh. Super, toss it back, step it back, vinyasa or not, we'll meet in downward facing dog. Mm -hmm.